Hi, welcome to Avocet Math. In this video, we're going to look at another problem from our set of AMC 10 counting problems. So let's take a look at what we have. Pat wants to buy four donuts from an ample supply of three types of donuts, glazed, chocolate, and powdered. How many different selections are possible? Now, this is a very important problem pattern that comes up in a lot of different AMC problems. Uh, it's sometimes referred to as the ball and urn problem. Uh, some refer to it as the vending machine problem. And that's discussed more in uh, the uh, Art of Problem Solving textbooks as, as well as uh, other, other internet sources if you want to uh, look that up. But it's an important problem pattern and it's one that uh, you need to recognize. But uh, if you're seeing this for the first time, don't feel bad. I don't think uh, anybody solves this particular problem pattern the very first time they see it. But it's something you should really try to understand well and try to recognize this pattern if you see it again. So let's take a look at what we have. So we have glazed donuts, we have chocolate donuts, and we have powdered donuts in ample supply. And we're basically trying to construct a set of four donuts which contain either zero to four glazed, zero to four chocolate or zero to four powdered and we just require that the sum of the donuts equals four. So one particular selection might be for instance two glazed, one chocolate, one powdered. Uh, another selection might be one glazed, zero chocolate, three powdered. Or perhaps another selection might be two glazed, two chocolate, zero powdered. And the tricky part here is that it appears as though we don't really care where the donuts appear. We don't care about the order of the donuts. All we care about is the number of any particular type of donut. And it seems a little tricky as to how we can apply some of the combinatorial math that we've learned to this particular problem. It's definitely not clear to uh, most people who attack this problem for the very first time. So the technique that's involved for this type of problem is to generate what's called a clever correspondence. We don't quite know how to count this set, but what we're going to do is we're going to use a little tool to create a similar set that we do know how to count, and then we'll show that that set matches up with all the elements in the first set. So let's see what I mean by that. What we're going to do is create from these four possible donuts, instead we're going to expand that into six possible slot locations. And these slot locations, we're going to distinguish them in two different types. One, are, are, one type are the locations where we're going to put the donuts, and the second type where we're going to put what we call a separator. And what we're going to do here is that for any slot to the left of the separator, we're going to put a glazed donut. For any slot that's between the two separators, we're going to put a chocolate donut. And for any slots to the right of the separator, we're going to put a powdered donut. So going back to our first set here, we can kind of use a, some examples. Our two glazed, one chocolate, and one powdered would look like two slots, a separator, a slot, a separator, and a slot. Likewise, the, the glazed and the three powdered would look like one glazed, now two separators, because there's no chocolate, followed by three slots to indicate the powdered donuts. And likewise, this last one would correspond to a pattern of separators that has two slots, a separator, two slots, and a separator. So now we see that we can create a one-to-one -one correspondence between these patterns and our desired donut selection. And that's the key. Because now that we have this correspondence, we can basically look at this problem and see, well, how many patterns can we construct over here? And the problem over here seems a little simpler in that we essentially have six possible locations and two possible locations for the separator. 
and for any possible combination of separator locations, that will correspond to one donut selection that we kind of see up on the table here. So the problem basically comes down to how many different ways can we arrange these two separators among these six positions? And that we can recognize as a simple combinatorics problem. Essentially, we have two items that we have to choose between six possible locations, and we don't care about the order of the items once they're placed. So that just comes down to the combination of six items chosen two at a time. And we know from our combinatorics mathematics that works out to 5 times 6 divided by 1 times 2 for a total of 15, which is choice D. Anyway, this is a simple problem if you recognize the pattern. And it's a nearly impossible problem if you don't recognize this pattern. And as I mentioned, this, this pattern does come up quite frequently. I would say once every year or every other year on one of the AMC exams. And it's a very common problem pattern that uh, you really should try to understand and recognize when you see it again. So good luck with that, and we'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.